This morning I'm here in Milwaukee Harbor with my good buddy Eric Hadia. We're looking for giant brown trout, steelhead, salmon, maybe even a big laker. So what's really cool, Josh, There's is, the, uh, the wall. this is the wall right here, right? Yeah. On my left side, see the corrugation on the wall there? Yeah. Yeah. So as I drive down through these channels, what I actually do, Josh, is I just side image. And if the fish are here, you're gonna see a pile of them, which basically are all shadows. And usually most of them will be down here. So watch in a little bit, watch the fish, all the fish that are gonna show up here. You'll actually be able to see the the, the symbol of the fish, you'll actually be able to see the shape of the fish. Really? Yeah, once they start slowing down, you'll, when I go through these channels, if I don't see the fish on the side imaging, yeah. then I don't even fish the channel. Yeah. I side image it, no fish. This tells me everything that's in this channel. If the fish are here, I fish. If they're not here, I just go to the next channel and the next channel. So we're hunting down big I like it, schools man. of fish. I like it. There's a the bait. Spawn sacks, eggs, that's basically just fish eggs. Josh is getting stuff ready in the back. I'm gonna sneak me a cast in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you got a bite. Eric, Eric, Eric's yep, fish on. on. He's I'm on. on. Nice steelhead. Nice steelhead. Steelhead. Here, let me get the net. Let me get the net. Oh. Oh, 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 oh out of the water. Look at that. That was awesome, oh dude. That was so epic. Eric's got the first fish of the day. He snuck one in. That's right. I told you. He's a sneaky one. I'm getting in on Josh. He's always getting the first cast. Not today, I said. No, sir, not today. Bring him over here, bro. I'll get the first net. How about that? Here we go. Oh, oh you don't like that, he goes. He not like that net. He does not like that net. He did not like it. Watch your rod. Yeah, I'm watching him already. And turn his head. There we go, buddy. Beautiful steel. Keep him in the water right there. The and I'll unhook him. Yep, in the water. I'll lift him up real quick. Yep. And then uh, we'll let him go. I'll grab the rod. All right, you ready? Southern net. Here we go. Look at that. First fish of the day. First fish of the morning, beautiful male steelhead. You never know what you're gonna catch. Brown steelhead, coho's kings. Hopefully nice, we get dude. Josh a Laker. There he goes. And we are on the board, baby. Here we go, yes sir. Here we go, got a bite, got a bite, got a bite, got a bite. Hey, buddy. Here we go, fish on. Take your time now. Yes sir, here we go. We got another one on. That didn't take long, did it? It didn't take long enough. Brown! Nice brown! This one's not fighting as hard as yours. Very lethargic, but he's beautiful. Look at him, look at him. Oh, look at the colors of that beautiful brown. Wow. Here, bring him over here. I'll unhook him in the net. Pull my sleeves up because I don't want to get cold. Okay, hold on. Beautiful brown trout. Look how chunky that fish is. Look at the colors. This is a nice one. What do you think, Eric? Like five, six pounds? Yeah, five, six pounds. It's a female. Yep. Beautiful fish. Let's let her go. Right there she goes. We're both on the board now. Eric, yeah, you want to have sure. competition? Yeah, well, let's do it. Let's see who gets the biggest fish today. Right. I mean, I know Eric's the god, he's the master, but every day's different, guys. We're going to have our own little mini tournament. Hey, loser buys lunch. How about that? Fine, fine. Like that? I like it. All right, let's do it. It's just common courtesy, common etiquette. If you were here, I'd have never brought my boat in here. But since I was here, I would have never came in here with my boat if you guys were in here before me. But since we were here and we got our floats out, now you're casting over my floats because you were here the other day. It's just, dude, there's ethics things, right versus wrong. I wouldn't do that. That's all. Eric, we got egg sacks out right now. What else could we use for bait to get the salmon to bite? You know, this time of the year, the other thing that works really good, Josh, is skein. Skein is salmon roll that we caught out of the fish a couple weeks ago. We cure it up with uh, borax and salts and, and different colored dyes. It's, it's pink sticking and sticking together. Yeah, it's all. It's, that's because this is a few weeks ago before the fish are ready to spawn. Now that they're spawning, all the eggs will be loose. Ah. So, you know, a couple weeks ago, they're tight. Now the fish are loose, dumping the eggs. And what advantage does this have over the egg sacs? Yeah, the, the advantage to skein typically is you catch a few more kings and cohos, and then on the egg sacs or spawn sacs, we catch a few more uh, 
usually you catch more brown trout and steelhead on the spawn sex, but you can catch both. Hey, you know what? Um, having both, variety so out there, that's like right. you said. Give them chocolate. Likes, give them strawberry. Give them, yeah. Vanilla. Have different flavors out there. Here we go. Here so how do we, uh, how do you prepare the skein and put it on the hook? What you do is you just take a, a chunk of it and you use the scissors. You cut off a chunk or you can cut that in half. You can use an egg loop knot, hook it on your hook. Yeah. Throw it on, on the float. Let them eat it. You know, let, let them eat, eat it. it. And you got the hook. It. Hang on. All right, let's do it, man. Here we go, here we go. Got a good one on light line. Big King, no, don't go over there. Come over here. Stay over here. Stay in the, in the pay plan. Oh, he's in the other one. He's in the other float, Josh. Coming. We got a tangle now. What float? He's in that float. What he's float? in that other rod we got out there. That one, you got to reel that one in now. We got a tangle. Or is there a fish on it? No, there's not. He's, yeah, my fish. Oh, he just came off. Be real. You open the freaking bail. Come on. What is this, dude? I saw, I saw you do it the whole time. Oh, man. I tried, I tried to get him. That was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful catch. Look at that. Nice little nice salmon. Fish, now, that right there is not a, Remember, I said some are three years old and some are four? That'd be a three year old. So, is, is, is he a breeder? Yeah, well, he's, he basically just reached puberty a year early at three instead of four. And that's why he's smaller than the bigger ones. Not a four-year-old fish. Not bad. On a little spawn bag. Unhook him here. All right, snout. All right, gonna let him go. See you later. Nice fish, dude. Three species so far. Three species. We got to get you the lake trout. We got to get the Grand Slam. We get a coho and a lake trout, Grand Slam. Grand Slam? Grand Slam. Great Grand Lakes Grand Slam. Of the trout family. Trout and salmon. Trout and salmon. So we got a salmon, brown, steelhead. We can do it, man. We, gotta get a we can do it. We can do it. There's literally like 100 fish over there. I went up there and looked at them. It's unbelievable. They're just not biting. There's something that's, I don't know what it is. What, what do you think it is? Or why are they not biting? Well, you know, the kings aren't biting the greatest right now because it's at the tail end of their life cycle. You know, a couple weeks ago, they were biting better. And the browns and the steelhead are just moving in. Right yeah, now. So, we're so in that you transition kinda, period. you're right in a transition, kind of like when the, the tarpon are leaving and the sharks are coming or something like that. You know, yeah. here it's just the end of the salmon, the beginning of the trout. So we're yeah. right in that transition. I like it though. It's a challenge, guys. Yeah, it is. It is. Eric, uh, it's a slow bite, dude. Real slow. What do you think? Let's see. We've caught three. We've lost three. And there's about 3,000 fish swimming around us that we can't get to bite. So which is pretty normal. You get those days, the water's calm, clear, sunny. Fish don't bite, you know what we're gonna do? Keep moving, keep moving, keep trying a few other spots let's and spot. let's go. Woo! Oh, we got a fish on, baby. It's a good one too. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, can you stop him? I'm stopping him. We gotta go chase him? Talk to me, team. Got him on the Stratic 3000, bro. Tiny little reel. Big head shake. Yeah, it's big, a big fish. fish. It's a big fish. Can we go chase him with the troll motor or no? You think stay here. What do you think's the best? I need you to let me know. I mean, we got sharks, we got grouper, we got everything out there that could eat them. Is that a big brown? It's a giant brown. It's a giant brown. It's a giant brown. Oh my gosh, get the net. Yeah, it is a giant brown. Yes. Oh my gosh. Get ready. Pull them. Yep, keep pulling them. Don't go up on. Get Eric, Eric, this is over here. Get, get on the side, on the side, on the side. Hold on. Here he comes. Get ready. He's on his boat. There you go. Lift. Hold on, Just hold lift. on, hold on. Just I'm lifting, lift. I'm lifting, I'm lifting. He's, he's heavy, bro. He's got that seven pound, seven pound fluorocarbon leader. Seven pound shooter, baby. You can't put too much pressure on him. Big and big and Josh. This is why he came here for one big brown. Yep. Don't let him, yep, yep, keep coming. In I'll jump in the water, bro, if he goes in there, dude. He's right underneath the boat, buddy. Yep, yep, so yep. We'll do it right here with the bonitas. Stick the rod in the water, pull the rod. Oh, there we go, he turned. Here we go, Eric, get, get on the side, get on the side. Get on, over here, over here, you gotta net him over here. Hold on, he's going underneath the boat again, hold on. Brought it in the water. Let him clear the propeller. Hold on, let him clear the propeller. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You got him? Nope, left, Oh left, my gosh, left, I, thought you, left, I thought you had him in the net. One more. Keep lifting. How big do you think he is, dude? He's big, dude, he's big. Keep him coming, keep him coming. <laughs> oh, get in that net, get in that net. Get him, 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 get him
Oh, oh my, my gosh. Look at that T-Rex. That's a giant. That is a giant. That's a giant brown dude. Big old brownie, buddy. Oh my Man, did God. we work hard for that or what? Look wow. at that tank. Holy goodness. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, maybe yeah. pushing 20. Pushing 20? Yep. It hooks out. All right, so Josh, you know this. Anytime you grab these big trout, right? Grab by his tail. You want to keep your hands out of their gills, yes. right? Because yes. they're not going to die like a salmon. These salmon are going to die. Yeah. So real tight by the tail. Then you support that belly. Let me, let me, let me grab like this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Giant brown trout, guys. Giant. Giant. Oh my gosh. Dude, Is he heavy? Or, yeah. He's, he's very heavy, guys. Look Very at how heavy. thick look he at, is, too. Look at that kite hook shot. Look at that thing, dude. Oh, that is just so cool. I told you, you never know what you're going to get. Oh it's just the start of our gosh. brown trout season, so it's wow. just starting. What a monster, dude. Let's get a quick picture of him, then we'll let him go. Yeah, Put him in the net that. for a sec. He's a fish. Oh, yeah, he'll go fine, dude. Let him go. Yeah, he's good. Let's just hold him up right there. Look at that, guys. That is an absolute gorgeous. Tell me when you're going to let him go. Fish. Here we go. We're going to let him go right now. Ready? Yeah. Here he goes. Wow. Dude, PB Brown Trout. Yes, sir. Oh man, and guys. you got the biggest fish award. Oh, I'll tell you it. what. The uh, it was a grind. It's been a grind, guys. I it mean, has been. We haven't had a bite in hours. Yep. Hours. We've been well, we've had a few around, bites, but we've looking. missed them. We've missed a few. You know, we're just not. It's slow, dude. It's a tough day. It's, it's sunny. It's calm. It's clear. Yeah. We're getting a few, but Let's hey, get some more baits out if there. If they're day. like that, if. I'll wait five hours to fish, fish like that. Fish like that. And they're here, dude. Fish they're in a lifetime, here. guys. Huge yeah. brown trout. The fishing was getting kind of tough there in the harbor. The bite was just slowing down. We got like two bites in like, what, four hours? It's pretty yeah, sad. Yeah, two bites, four hours. And then we got some this morning, missed a few. It's kind of a tough day, you know. You don't always whack them every day. But we did get some nice ones. We got some nice fish. Hey, any day you catch a PB is a good day. And the other thing is there's hundreds of fish around us. Yeah. Just. They weren't biting, so now we're moving. Yeah. We're out here in the main harbor, the big Milwaukee harbor, and we're, and we're gonna throwing throw crankbaits. Crankbaits, jerk baits. We might throw some jigs. I like catching fish on lures, bro. We're just gonna move this around. Exciting, see if we can guys. Get some fish going and on. When cranks. you feel that thump, woo, your heart goes beating. I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose. Right next to the boat. Oh, he ate it, dude. Right, right beside the boat. He freaking crushed it, guys. Oh my gosh, on a crankbait, crushed it. Did you see that, dude? <laughs> Eric turning the music on. I'm like, dude, turn the music off. Oh, Josh won't let turn me dance. The... Josh won't let me sing. I Josh put... won't let me do a thing. Bro, why do you gotta cuss, bro? Why do you gotta... Come on, oh, man. Whoa! Oh, That's 20 pounds, dude. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> a monster. Yes, sir. I love it. We got black tip hooked up again on another big brown, baby. And he smoked the crank right it. next to the boat. He I just crushed, it. crushed it. Oh my gosh. Heavy, like a big redfish. Yeah, this is exactly, that's how they fight, like redfish. Brown, big brown, yeah, that's a great analogy. Have you caught a big redfish before? Oh yeah, I've caught plenty of them. How I big? Love them. Well, you know, 30 inches, 32 nice. inches. But you've caught bigger browns than you've caught redfish. Oh yeah. So how about yeah. this, guys? If you want me and Eric to go to Louisiana and fish giant redfish, leave a we comment gotta below. We gotta do it, leave gotta do it. Below, because these browns fight like red. That's exactly what they fight like. And snook too, they, they fight like snook kind of a little bit too. This one's big, bro. It's a big one. A what a fun way to catch them, though, on a crankbait, hey? Bro, watching them right, like, guys, like five inches from the boat. Kaboom! There are so many ways, you guys, you can come up here and catch these browns, right? You can float fish them, you can shore fish them, you can cast them, you can bring your boat up here, you can troll with all your planer boards. So there's a lot of different ways you can come up here and fish them. Ice fish, shore fish, world-class fishery, buddy. Oh, you got pumping, one on baby. right now! He's pumping. Big browns on cranks, baby. Brownie time. I knew I shouldn't have given you that, that, that bait. That was my favorite one. I'm cutting it off and I'm putting it on my line. Oh, spare me. Spare me, bro. I tell you, many years ago, I came out here in the harbor and I started I started bass fishing a lot, throwing crankbaits and jerkbaits, right? Yeah. And I started catching all these trout. Lo and behold, what do you think works good for them? Jerkbaits, crankbaits, not just yeah. trolling spoons and stuff. Yeah. So they, they like to eat anything, but brown. The way he just ate. Oh, yeah. Dude. That's so aggressive. He, that's like, he, he hit it like a jack for ball. Literally. Destroyed it. Crushed it. He is fighting you, buddy. He's here big, he comes. Dude. Here he comes. Here He's he comes. really big, bro. This is it. This is it. This is the one. Oh, yeah. Look at that tank. That's a giant, bro. 
Got him! Oh, we got him! We got him! Bro, that's 20 pounds, bro. Oh, that's a big one. That's 20 pounds. Look at him, he just destroyed oh, that crazy. That's huge. What kind of brown is oh, that? Oh, it's a big German, buddy. Big oh German. Gosh, do you think it's bigger than the one I caught in the, in the harbor? Oh, it's up there, buddy. It's another upper tier. It's a giant. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, goodness. like you're we saying, brown. pretty slow day. We only caught a couple of 18 pound browns. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Look at that tank. That's a oh. tank. Oh. Bro, he's oh. heavier than the other one. Back to back PB browns in the high teens, low 20s. Are you kidding me? World class, man. World class, bro. Well, on a crankbait, too. On artificial casting. Look at that fish. We'll get a quick pick and then we'll let her go. Yeah, let's do that. She goes. Aracadia, 20 pound browns. I mean, how big do you think the fish was? It had to be close Upper to 20. Upper teens, yeah. It was a nice big fat hen, man. There's Dude, so many of heavy. them like that. Yeah, I mean, oh and there's gosh. 40 pounders swimming out here, believe it or not. So you if never I know. If I caught a 40 pounder, I don't even know what I would do. Well, let's I'd, get back to fishing I'd, and make I'd, it happen. I'd jump right to shore from here, bro. Dude, downtown Milwaukee right here. Yeah. You could fish right from shore here, and I'm gonna tell you, probably the most underfished metropolitan city in the Midwest easily for Dude. the world-class fishing that you have here. I mean, there's a world-class browns right here, as you can see, right? Dude, you, there's not no many places you can fishing. go and catch browns that size. No one fishing. We just caught don't in, fish. We've caught in two browns today that could that could almost hit 40 pounds. Yep. Two, yep. Pound, two browns, almost 40 pounds. That's yep. epic. It is. That's epic. Steelhead, kings, you know, I mean, you we, get some... We it's been a little tough, Lakers. but dude, watching that fish hit that crankbait, guys, I'm All telling you, it. crushed it. Crushed it so hard. <laughs> yeah. So anything you know it was hooked after that. It was like, yep. what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. And it took off. Out of the water and everything, man. That was so, epic. Let's right, get another let's one get out back there. At it. Good job, Dude, buddy. Not your yes. turn, bro. Catch a giant, bro. Congrats. Thanks, man. Dude, that was so awesome watching that fish crush. I mean, it literally hit right there. Right there. I was about to pull the lure out of the water and he just crushed it. Look out. Oh. Fish on, baby. Is the northern pike? Yeah. There it is. Black. Big pike. It's a freaking brown, dude. Oh, a nice brown. brown. Nice brown. Yeah, he just hasn't woken up yet. You ready? You want, you want yeah. net quickly? Yeah. Net him. Net him. Oh, oh, it's a kite, dude. The coho. 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 The coho. Nice big male coho. Just lift. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Another species. Dude, another species. Big male coho. Oh my gosh. Big male coho. Is that, a, is that an edible one? Yeah, you could eat them if you wanted to. Coho. Look at that, guys. First ever coho salmon. Coho salmon. Brown trout. Steelhead. Look at that. The only thing we fish. need is a lake trout, and you got a grand slam today. Bro, grab that camera. Let's get a nice photo, dude. All right, let's do it. Look at, that. Look at the colors on that fish, guys. It's a buck male coho. It was a pretty good day. It started off really slow. I mean, it was a grind this Dude, morning. Definite grind. It's kind of the life of like a fisherman, right? Yeah. I mean, you gotta you get go these out. great days and then you get these yeah. grinding days. Yeah, I mean, and I'd, I'd rather have it a grind and work for my but six or eight fish. But we caught some great fish today, dude. And get great fish, than have it easy, to be honest with you. I'm a working man caught, fisherman. I broke I my that. PB brown today yes, twice. Yes, you did. That was awesome. Twice in one day. Like an 18 and like a 19, 20. Yep. One on a float, one on a crank. That was unbelievable. And then we did watch him eat rich for the boat. That was so, so yep. sick. We got what? We caught a coho. We caught, we caught a king. Yep. Caught some steelhead. Steelhead. Mm -hmm. We caught browns. We caught northern pike. Yep. So we got half a dozen species. Yep. Dude, we crushed. It was fun, man. A lot of fun. fun. A lot and of you saw all the fish. I mean, we didn't. And there's so many fish around. This can be real frustrating too. I mean, it's not easy. When I put guys, you guys saw, line. you guys saw, saw the drone footage. Yeah. There's a lot of fish here. Lighter lines, smaller lot of hooks. Fish. But I mean, we got a world-class fishery from shore, as you know, from the ice. Yes. And I'm planning on having you come back, man. I appreciate. Yes. It. I We're love gonna come back. You, Check out Eric Hadia. Links in the description. Social media, YouTube channel. Subscribe. Follow him. You guys like big trout? This is the guy. I'm on now. Give him a call. Go fishing with him. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Shimano. Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors. And Sudacore Nutrition.